The Veterans Village campus on Pacific Highway is officially complete. The new building marks the end of a large expansion since it opened in 1990. The center now helps more than 2,000 veterans a year with housing, food, substance abuse treatment, and job training. Veteran LaTanya Smith spent 18 months at Veterans Village. Today, she has her own apartment and is studying to be an addiction counselor. I came here with no family. I came here with no hope. I came here with no direction. And VBSD has given me the encouragement and the guidance that allows me to, to get up and come here, you know, today, and be able to stand up in front of you guys and be able to say that in less than two months, I'll have two years clean and sober. The newly completed building is Hickman Hall behind me. It houses 24 new beds for women veterans. Inside, there's also a gym, chapel, administrative offices, and a dental clinic with free dental care for low-income families. In 2007, the city council approved $8.5 million for the five-phase expansion. You know what's great is, is having been involved in this campus back when I was on the council, you know, seven years ago, and to see the transformation and to see the, the vision come to reality. I mean, this is, it's a beautiful setting. Um, but, you know, it's much more than the buildings. It's, it's the work that's being done here to help, uh, to help our veterans, and that's what makes me so proud as mayor. Of the 8,700 homeless counted by the San Diego Regional Task Force in 2015, more than 1,300 are veterans. Katie Shulev, KPBS News.